Cheers to you. My little hydration station. I got this in a little town called... Maybe it's just water. Don't be all excited about it. You got your own hydration station over there, Pete. Bye bye, stingy mangy. Anyway, little little blip called Columbus, Nebraska. Anyway, that story is for another day. My freaking lower back sore. Hey, if you got like trouble in your lower back, try this. It's freaking rad. I do it with my blanket. When it's I gotta go for a walk today because it's gonna get me all stiff. But all right, you get a blanket, right? Saudi Arabia. That also is for another story. So wrap it at the base of your back a little bit. Wherever the pain hurts, wrap it like that. And then bring it up over your knees. Tuck it under like you're folding sheets. Right? This is the fun part. This is where the relief comes in. Now pull with... Tuck the sheets and then lean back at the same time. Oh, yeah. Oh, that feels so good. And then you can play with it. You can move it up and down and stuff and then put tension on different parts of your back. This is the stuff that you can freaking do for yourself that you can instantly feel. And you don't have to fucking try and communicate where the pain hurts and all that jazz. You can be your own practitioner if you just play with stuff, people. I wouldn't fucking go jerk shit around. I wouldn't be like, pop, 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 spunk. <laughs> that would be wise, clown. I mean, yeah, but no. Anyway, my face is, looks different today to me. I think I'm... I leveled up in some capacity. I've melded more into my own higher power. I'm still fucking sucking up to a bat, beagle basset. What, dude? Find your spot. Settle. Come on. Low rider. Alright then. Is Timmy stuck in the whale? We don't have a whale. <laughs> oh, well. Anyway. It does feel unloved today. So Marty Bennett got the love in the heart, Marty. Don't deny the love, Marty. It's mean to deny love, people. Sometimes you just gotta cooperate. <laughs> Bennett said, Marty Bennett be the tube stations, Marty. Bennett get his own tube. So come on over. I put a freaking GoPro harness on him. Benny need to go on ventures, Marty. Tell them to buy the t-shirts that you sell so Benny can please go on the t-shirts. We implore you. Benny need a venture in his heart. Marty don't get bored, but it don't mean Benny don't. Good oh boy. Thank you for that endorsement, by the way. Alright, so. I leveled up today. <coughs> Excuse me. Cover my that's rude. So I watched a little video this morning. It's an hour and fifteen minutes long. <laughs> the great arc arcanium gnostics teaching. Dude, go back to sleep. <laughs> it was it also too much for you to be awake right now? <laughs> Calamity Jake. Okay, by Thelma Press. Pages called fifty two mystical paths it's an hour and 15 minutes and 58 seconds it's worth every moment of it 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 makes a lot of stuff make sense i can give you the abridged version and you can go back and see for yourself because people need to freaking spend more time on learning about this stuff and less time about retaining statistics for sporting events it's so weird to me anyway so It helped me level up like on a video game, huh, Benny? Basically. Kind of starts out with the whole, nah, organized religion. I see the necessity for it and what they're trying to do. I just have never thought one was 
right over the other because they're just all different interpretations of the same stuff. And basically, the high vibin will survive and the low vibin will spin out in a lonely, miserable, pitiful death. <laughs> basically in the shell of a nut. Ben is a Marty, you are the shell of a nut. You will you're the meat in the shell of my nut. Cracker Jack. He's the prize out of a Cracker Jack box. Anyway. From the olden days. So basically bottom line is, you know, <laughs> there's a lot of dark tantra, black tantra that is getting a lot of people in trouble. And this help this this video did help me make light of some some things. It's the black tantra. And when they talk about repentance, I was watching the ranch last night and the dynamic of that show has changed now. And I'm sad because I liked how it was. Now it's got to be different because of dark black tantra. And it's sad. My friend Nicole, she she made me love Sam Elliott freaking when I was 16. I've liked him since then. Cause, yeah, he's a cool dude. And I've respected him for a long time, and sometimes people make decisions. But see, now's the time that people can, this is where the redemption part comes in, and that is that people make mistakes. You can do things and make mistakes. But to come forth and say, I made this mistake, that is the person who I used to be and all I can do is prove who I am today and, and continue to do so and live in my honor and do what I can to keep peop other people from making the same mistakes that I've done. That is true repentance as I understand it. That is true redemption. I'm not seeing a whole lot of people do that. I'm seeing a whole lot of deny, deny, deny. It wasn't me. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Well, motherfucker, yeah, you did. I'll say you did. And then maybe you can freaking recti rectify some of that shit. And stop passing this crap on to your fucking kids. This karma to your kids. It's gross and selfish because you... Because you are dark... Gu gu guided by your... Dark black tantra. It's so gross. See, and... Now I'm starting to see, like, well, this is why you haven't always been promiscuous, speaking of. Like, <laughs> I wish never moved the camera up after displaying my back stretches. Uh, embarrassed is not so mm, Oh, wow. Well. So, I freaking embarrassed myself way worse than that. So what happens is, We're all masculine and feminine, all of us. And here's a side note. You young kids who recognize yourself as transgender, put that off for a little while. Your body doesn't even really fully know. You're just fucking, especially when you're three, four years old. Dude, you haven't even calibrated to the freaking planet, let alone to who you are on the planet. You haven't even been here long enough to establish what your energy is. You got a freaking, it's like putting braces on freaking kids that are 9 or 10. Dude, your jaws need to even fucking done for me. What? Don't get me started on that either, because like, that's just wrong. You guys are trying to freaking force what's natural. It's gross. And I did it, and I'm sad, because I used to have the same top teeth as Jewel. Now I have a fucking horse teeth. <laughs> More like Uncle or Mr. Ed. Anyway. Water tastes so good. Angel spit. <laughs> Heyoko, wise clown. Hashtag. Hashtag. Heyoko, wise clown. So, what happens is we're all feminine and, and, and masculine. Because I know, and I speak from experience, when I, because when I was a little girl, and I also know that so it's always been gender has always been weird for me too, because it is fluid. Because some days I feel more like a boy than a girl. 
you know, but some days, I mean, but I'm always both. One just, you know, I don't know, and it's not even that I feel more like a girl or a boy thing, it's just more geared, I'm more geared to things that people have put gender specifics on, like, well, today I feel like working on a car. Well, you must feel like a boy today. You know, I feel like working on a car. I feel like a mechanic. I feel like tinkering. I think we're like a kid that tinkers. What happens was, is, is you know, when the, they were in there, in the, in the garden, and everything was red, then somebody had to go to O and pop the cork to their champagne bottle and then the world and society started chasing the dragon which are orgasms <laughs> the white tantra gray tantra dark black tantra people are just gotta determine where they fit on that color scale we all have it it's which way you guide your light folks that's all it's which way you guide your light are you for the light or the dark heart spaces based and greed will not succeed people are having a beautiful opportunity to rectify and and, and live in redemption and things like that and my god this stuff i used to totally make fun of people not make fun of people just like well, yeah, I made fun of people, and the reason why you make fun of people is because you don't understand where they're coming from. And now I'm finally congruent to the understanding that all of these religions and things have always implored year after year and tried to drive home. Is that, dude, it's... Unions are sacred, and it's only between two people. Two people only. The masculine and the feminine one. When two people become, when when a person becomes, I like to call it, and I I'm re identify as like uh, energetically androgynous, and I'm not the first person to say that. I just don't remember. I don't know who it is. Who it don't matter. That's what I've read to by myself. My, that's what I like to believe that I am. So the pulses that beat in my heart are both negative and positive. They make a reaction and I come alive. That's why they say, you know, um, and they said, let there be light. That's what happened. It's like, I became congruent in myself. I sparked. My kundalini woke up, and now I've become light. Now, your same flame is the one that has to do all that, but I'm the masculine, and then there's a feminine. I, or, I'm the feminine, <laughs> oddly. And then there's a masculine. Um, my masculine needs to stop telling people that I'm a fucking stalker because I will put you on blast. I mean, for the most part, I'm respectful. <laughs> you don't see it that way, but I am. You try to ruin my name, I won't have it. Nope. And shame on those people who co-sign her shit, who know me and are co-signing her shit, sh shame on you too because you're allowing that crap. Yep. Yep. Because if you know me, you know that shit ain't true. And that's what integrity is all about. Yep. Because I've been more than fair in that area. But I will fucking... I just might anyway. <laughs> Who knows? So, anyway, so once you you have your masculine that is you know has to come around all that shit, um, then you come together, and then it's the creation. And it's not just making babies, because sometimes divine feminine and masculines are in the same sex. But it's the the creativity that comes from your love with that person, because. I mean, think about how often you hear, oh, you make me want to be a better person. Well, it's because your energies combine our love, which is the highest frequency, and that makes people creative. That's why I have fucking ideas all the time once you get to where you vibe high enough that you are just, like, tapped into the energy source, which is the universe, you know? I mean, you're never without ideas. I'm not. I just... I try to get people to use them and they just don't. 
I try to reach out. I mean, it's weird because it's like we're all connected, but then you reach out to like a re some readers like I've exchanged. Most people are pretty cool, but sometimes you get some that either their ego is just a little big or they're young or I don't know what it is, but then they fucking flare for like some stupid... I don't even know. I've just like read a comment from one that... I was just like, I don't even know where that came from. Weird. People's perceptions are solely based on who they are and where they are in time and space. And so when I'm friendly to people, it's because I'm fucking friendly, motherfuckers. <sighs> I'm sorry, Danny. I'm a doll, Margie. Take it easy now. Send my dad now. So... I recommend to watch that movie, that video that I, I'll put that in the description. My point is, is that was where the creativity comes from. Yeah, kids are great. And it's that low vibing stuff is that it are, are, is wrecking kids. So if people start to come tr true in resolving the, their own energetic dissonance, then it won't be, you know, more kids will play in parks with their families, because there's less fear. Fear is fucking ruled this planet for entirely too long. You should be able to talk to kids without the fucking parents having to worry about the, all that other gross stuff that, come, that I, I ain't even about. I'm just a fucking grown up child. That's what I'm about. I eat jelly beans for, and saltwater taffy for fucking breakfast ice cream for dinner. I don't fucking mean any harm to anybody. That's why it makes it that much more insulting when my same flame is trying to tell people, fucking a stalker. I don't even have a car. You live 50 miles away. I am blocked from all social... How, what do I do to fucking do it? I just know shit. Booga booga. And people tell me that all the time. Aren't you so smart? You know so many things. Yeah. Then why do people keep questioning me? Anyway, <laughs> I need to calm down because Benny's getting worked up and I don't like getting him twisty twirly. So, be sure I have a ride day. And if you don't, jump on the wall.